now that we have assembled the robot, we can take a look at all the other items that are included in the set. We already looked at the battery charger and we used the screwdriver which as I showed earlier can be used as flat or Phillips screwdriver. There is LCD display and some LED displays that can be placed here in the prototyping breadboard area. There is infrared remote control and in this box there is infrared receiver and transmitter. There is a spare motor driver chip which can be used to replace in case we damage the motor driver chip on the board. Two buzzers, passive and active and some capacitors. There are two photoresistors and two what appears to be thermoresistors. I will experiment with them later. So with the help of the infrared receiver here and the infrared remote we can implement infrared remote for the robot. There are three different colors of LEDs, yellow, red and blue, buttons and potentiometers that can be used in the prototyping area. They probably can also be used as spares in case some of the potentiometers for the sensors get damaged. Three different type of resistors. Breadboard male-to-male jumper wires. Male-to-female jumper wires. DuPont type, which can be used to connect between the Arduino board and the different sensors on the robot. Some spare bolts, nuts, screws and spacers. Extra seats for the servo in case we need them. There is pin header that can be used to be soldered for easy connection to the Arduino Uno. I did not do that, but that definitely is an option and uh, makes it easier to connect other sensors with female to female jumper wires. And finally, there is one big breadboard. Let's take a look at it. I have not opened it yet. Let's see what has been included in the set. So it appears to be a standard big breadboard with full power buses on both sides. Some breadboards have separation on the power buses. This one has full power buses from left to right. So this is everything that is included in the set. And the next step is to connect the motors to the Arduino Uno and test and see how the motors are working, connect the sensors, test the sensors and start with more complex experiments.